Hi everyone, welcome to Irfan CFPS YouTube channel. I am your friend Irfan Sheikh. Several people have requested me to upload a video on manual hydraulic calculations for the sprinkler systems. But the truth is, nowadays we use only softwares to perform the hydraulic calculations. However, by doing the manual calculations, we truly understand the concept of the sprinkler system and design. That is the reason in today's session, we shall consider a sample project to demonstrate how to manually perform the hydraulic calculations in accordance with NFPA 13 requirements. So basically, before we move ahead with step one, just I would like to highlight you, you need to watch three videos which are uploaded on my YouTube channel before proceeding ahead with the hydraulic calculation procedure. If you watch these three videos, most of your queries will be resolved and you can easily understand this particular example and also the procedure. So the three videos are hydraulic calculations as per NFPA 13 by considering area density method and the second video you have to watch is fire sprinklers design layout for office. We have considered an example in this particular video where we have distributed the sprinklers as per NFPA 13 requirements. So in today's session, we are not going to go in detail regarding the location of the sprinklers and the pipe sizing. It has been already, you know, considered in our video series of NFPA 13 and you can find that particular concept in the second video. Apart from that, you have to understand the friction loss calculations. Since NFPA 13 uses Hazen Williams formula to calculate the friction loss from the pipes and also fittings. So before we start, just we will look at the dimensions of this particular building. Here uh, on your screen, you can see we have uh, mentioned figure one as sprinkler system layout. This outer portion is the building dimension, which is of 52 feet by here you can see the length will be 71 feet. So the building dimensions are 52 feet by 71 feet. And we already distributed the sprinklers and uh, provided the piping and also we mentioned the distance between the sprinkler to sprinkler and also mentioned the pipe sizes you can find the concept of this particular sprinklers in fire sprinklers design layout in my youtube channel so moving ahead this building is used to fill small cans of fruit juices it is owned by a small company that process and distributes fruit beverage juices and this building is protected by wet sprinkler system. This is the first thing you need to understand. So in step one, basically you need to get an idea of the building dimensions and you need to have the sprinkler layout drawing. How we will uh, define the hazard classification for that purpose also, we have one more video on our YouTube channel classification of hazard occupancy. You can check that video so that you will understand the hazard classification as well. So for this building, we consider ordinary hazard group one classification and also considering a quick response sprinklers with K factor 5.6. So basically this building height is about 20 feet above finished floor level. So we have provided all the data for this particular building. You have to watch the full video to understand the procedure of hydraulic calculations. Let us see the type of construction for the pipes and fittings and also what are the other items which we are going to consider in this particular project. So just a moment, I will take my pen tab. Here I will write. So the pipes which 
we are going to consider will be black steel schedule 40 ERW pipes and for fittings we will consider threaded fittings for pipe sizes up to 50 mm and groove fittings will be considered for pipe sizes more than or equal to 65 mm 50 mm is nothing but 2 inch and 65 mm will be about two and a half inch apart from this we have uh, the sprinkler as i already said sprinkler will be quick response type and the k factor for sprinkler will be 5.6 and uh, it will have half inch thread npt also we have the riser here this is called riser vertical pipe so this riser will be having gate wall and a check wall so gate wall and check wall so based on the available data from the insurance company who is the owner for this particular building we have uh, the available water supply existing existing for this building it means the client is providing us with the static pressure of about 72 psi and the residual pressure residual pressure of about 58 psi with flow 1200 gpm the static pressure residual pressure and this flow will be used while we are doing the hydraulic graph which is the last step at that time we will go in detail about this particular concept so apart from this as i already told you this is coming under ordinary hazard group one so for ordinary hazard group one we are going to write down the density this is an important point you need to go through density and also the area of sprinkler operation or design area of sprinkler operation design area of sprinkler operation is mandatory in order to perform the hydraulic calculations so density as per nfpa 13 for ordinary hazard group 1 it is about 0 0.15 gpm per square feet and area of sprinkler operation will be 1500 square feet this is the first step before we move ahead further into the hydraulic calculations.